Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar. Uh, we're going to be talking about how to implement a DAM for a multi-brand company. And I'm happy and honored to be joined by Håkan Jägerring from Landsmännen today. Uh, myself, I'm Hultan Svejlsad, a business development officer here at QBank. So Håkan, uh, very warm welcome to, to this webinar. Uh, can you please give us some, some background uh, to you and to Lantmannen? Yes, of course. I start introducing Lantmannen. Uh, Lantmannen is a top 500 fortune company here in Europe. So we are owned by the farmers or farmers. I think that is quite interesting because then they are the producer, the owner, the seller and buyers. So it's quite interesting business models. And uh, Lantman, and we are 150 companies inside Lantman. And so it's really interesting. And um, I'm really happy that we bought a company called Scan. And I know Hans is listening, hopefully my new best friend, because they also have QBank. So we're gonna join them in, in the Lantman and family. Uh, but if you take next one, we can look at some brands. So this is a normal day for me. I uh, maybe I meet up Svecon and talk about the Volvo construction, the biggest dumpers that you can think about, or um, talk about Unibake and some fresh fresh bread from Bonjour, or horse feed from Kraft, or some of the other brands. So it's really interesting, and we have a lot of real estate also. So. It's a really multi-company, multi-brand, multi-strategy because we have in-house department when it comes to agency and, and outside. And we are producer and we are reseller. So all the business opportunity uh, is in our stack. And a little bit about me. I'm Håkan Jagbrink, uh, 51 years old, been here at Lantman in four years. And I'm a Martech architect and a platform manager for PIM and DAM. And my previously, I worked at a fashion company called H&M and also at a big retailer here in Sweden called Coop. Uh, and I'm a, yeah, a PIM nerd in, in the beginning, but now I'm a DAM nerd. Uh, same, same, but different. Yeah. Great. So could you please uh, tell us a little bit about your uh, the biggest challenges that you had that led you to, to this new dam? Yes. Uh, I know that, I mean, uh, as you mentioned, Håkan, uh, mm -hmm. from our perspective, if I would uh, start, uh, it's very interesting to, to have such client because, as, as you mentioned, you have uh so many different type of companies within your group you you act as you mentioned as producers resellers you have cpg you have the real estate companies and you work both centralized and decentralized with your with your asset management which comes with some challenges that that we're going to cover today uh so how if you go back to, to Lantmanen, why did you start looking for a dam? Yeah, it started uh, not in the way you like. Um, if you have read Doggins in the Street, uh, you can see we have a cyber attack. Uh, we prevented that, but uh, it was not on the dam system or a PIM system, but it was uh, somewhere else in, in uh, Lantmanen. So then we did comprehensive uh, looking at every IT uh, application that we have and then we found out our old on-prem um, dam system was not uh, comprehensive when it comes to IT security when it comes to agency logging because agency need to have our image uh, so they can use it in their efficient way so we need to shut that down and the IT, IT guys they starting looking oh we can move this outside our firewalls and do that but uh, it was an old system, it was 10 years, uh, it was a time to look for a new SaaS done application uh, so we get more efficient and so on. Yes, and how did you sell this to your uh, board then, the, the new investment? Yes, so the first step in, in the dam journey is 
uh, convincing your board member uh, because everything is around money. Uh, so uh, I starting to sniff the network. Uh, so I sniffed a network and I found 7 million images on our different file shares. I was think about 6.2 million JPEG, a lot of TIFF and, uh, and PNGs and so on, videos, PDF, InDesign documents. I think it was 58,000 InDesign documents. Really good work uh, from an in-house perspective. Uh, it's a lot, huge amount of data. So that was the first example. I got a lot of image and let's do this. So then what is the return of Westment? And uh, then I went to my friends Forrester and Gartner and looking at that one. So if you look at a dam solution over three years period, you have a return of Westment in 185%. Uh, that is what the uh, uh, forester is telling us. So, okay, that is good. Then I have checked that out. Um, and the next step is also when you get a, a centralized dam system and so on, uh, you get more um, not so dependent on a specific person. Uh, so, uh, that is also good if someone is sick or, okay, where's the last version of this one? Oh, he's sick, he's lying on this file share. And you always know that you have the right assets in, 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 in lying in the dam system. So uh, that's also a good capability to give it to the board. And the dam system is just built for handling a lot, huge asset and video and video files and so on. So I went up to the board and presented. We have a lot of images. This is the return of Westman. You get less dependency and we can start in building the ecosystem uh, around the images. So that was the easy part, just uh, taking that one. And then we're starting the project. We named it Lift and Shift Project. So you don't get expectation up too high. Uh, the tech island is just gonna do lift and shift. Um, so the business value, we we are gonna talk about that, how we get the business island and the tech island combined. So yeah, so the, they signed off, we're starting out that, we migrated everything, we went live. Uh, and then we also bought a couple of years back, I think they're also listening our Finnish friends, uh, we migrated their image also over from their dam system into this system. So we're trying to keep the single sort of truth of assets in our system uh, and have the dam as the Swedish smorgasbord. I'm going to talk about the Swedish smorgasbord a lot, this one. But the hard part. Yeah, and, and I like your analogy with, with the... Uh, tech island, uh, the business island, and, and the smorgasbord that you will be talking about, because I know we have lots of clients with, with different challenges when it comes to uh, the requirements, both from business side and IT and, and tech side, and, and managing that all together in, in their dam. Yeah. Uh, so, and how, how did your landscape look like then? Yes. Uh, as I said, I'm a, we are a really a multi-company, multi-brand, multi-strategy company. We have a centralized e-commerce. We have decentralized e-commerce. We have a lot of credit agencies and so lot. So, so I think you can all uh, align on this. We have a lot of different stakeholders that use images and so on. And uh, so they, are, they, they can't be like this. You need to have the next image uh, to to get business value of this. So if you take the next slide, if you have a Swedish Smurgos board as a dam, as a center truth of excellence, then you can build the channels around, around that. Uh, and that is not just a system per se. You need to have the system, you need to have the right people, process and the metadata around that. You need to put some love when you upload an image. You have set the focal points, what is the need? So you so you can have the smorgasbord. So you have the the meat, the vegan, the fish, and so on for all the channels to to reach out in that one. Uh, so that is what we want to, to do here. And that is uh, to do that. You need to visit the business island, and and I have a lot of business islands. So it's really fun to travel to different business islands all the time. So we have a tech island, business island if we talk to each other, and that takes time to 
to to to coexist and then we are in a happy island so that they want to to emphasize talk to each other uh, and and tech and business need to be in the same room you need to be the best friend then you you get to the happy island and and also another one thing um i like gartner and so on so it's three driven driven things you have the business driven things I'm going to talk about um, agency logging later on. And then you have the environment um, uh, driven stuff that legal consent form. I'm also going to have an example of that. And you have the tech uh, driven stuff. So when you do budgeting and, and keep this going all the time, you need to also listen to the IT guy sometimes uh, and, and the business, uh, of course. So you need to combine this uh, in, in this sense and, and the legal aspect. They're going to have free example that we work uh, currently with QBank today in the end. Great. So this takes us to some factors you need to consider when, when choosing a dam for a multi-brand company. Uh, you've, you've covered most of them, but just to summarize, uh, of course, scalability, uh, as you mentioned, Hokan, uh, you are growing, the number of assets are growing, the number of channels are growing, you are acquiring new companies. So having a tool that are, is scalable uh, when you grow is, is a very important uh, thing to, to have. Uh, then you have the flexibility of the tool, given the diversity of your brands, you need to make sure you have a damn tool, uh, first of all, that can accommodate all different file types, but also that it can be customized to fit the different uh, business rules that the different brands might have or the different workflows and processes that they, they have. Then we have the user access and permissions. Uh, of course, I don't think I need to say so much about that. The different brands need to be managing their own assets and see their own assets in some cases. In some cases, you want to share assets with, with other brands. So it's very important to have uh, good user access and permissions control in your DAM tool. And then, as Hoka mentioned, uh, having the tech stack uh, that, that you have at Landmanen, the integration capabilities, is a, a big key uh, in, in, in this case. Uh, we have the metadata and search functionality. Uh, again, a uh, diverse company with different needs around metadata. You have the real estate companies with their needs around metadata. You have the producers, you have the resellers. So, so there's lots of um, different needs when it comes to, to metadata. Then you have the security and compliance that uh, Hokan has mentioned again. Uh, and then when it comes to the, the vendor, it's very important to have the right support and training in place. So uh, in, in an organization like Lantman and with all the different brands, you need to have everybody on board as uh, quick as possible and, and make sure that uh, they get the right training so they can start using the, the tool. And finally, as you mentioned, Hokan, uh, the cost and return on investment is, is very important making sure that you work in a cost-effective way, you have the right tool in place, and uh, so you get those um, return on investment in, in three years that you mentioned. Yes. So what led you to, to picking QBank then as a dam? Yes, yes, click a little bit. Yes, this is um, what was um, included on the right here, uh, the lift and ship product. So, uh, uh, we 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 choose uh, QBank because uh, we we ha could have a meter portal and a press portal and the core dam that you can see in the middle uh, quite easily. Uh, the tech island is quite easy just to set up on that sense. But we are also uh, Landmanner want to be uh, really GDPR compliant, uh, the marketing law, <laughs> uh, uh, and the, they have a consent function in QBank that we liked that we have um, done some development on, so it's better. Uh, I also liked personally the browser connector. So you can reach uh, QBank 
uh, whatever you are in which browser you are. And we have in Ruby PIM example that I'm also responsible for that you can drag and drop the image from the browser. And uh, it's a plugin there. So you can just drag the image in direct in, in Ruby PIM. You can also do that in Optimizely and other uh, Office, the PowerPoint and so on. But then it's like a fake connector. Uh, uh, so you need to do it in the right way to, to be GDPR compliant and so on. But but uh, for just starting for the business process, then you can do that uh, in that sense. So I, I like that. And some mood boards, if you want to share asset with your agency in a fine way, or if you are an event, you can do an event link and, and upload everything. So easy to share and so on. So uh, the AI functionality is always fun. Detected faces, AI keywords, and so on. So it's a really flexible too, sometimes too flexible. <laughs> you can set up it to one person and so on. So it's my, make my easy, uh, my life a little bit uh, harder uh, when you can do personalized uh, stuff, but uh, I'm here for the business. So um, yeah, uh, so that is why we choose in River. And if you go to the next one, uh, this is just uh, the beginning. Uh, yeah because we are really diverse. It's not the same as you sell the biggest Volvo construction vehicles and the fresh bread. So when you want to go uh, deep, deeper, so now we coexist in the, the core dam that we call the, the, the big one, that we coexist, we have some AD functions. So if you want to reach the media portal, you need to work at Lantmannen because if you work at Lantmannen, now we're going to get a little bit technical, but then you get automatically in this AD group and then you can reach media portal. If you leave Lantmannen, you're removed from the AD group and you can't reach media portal and the press portal is external use. So, but the next level of this is uh, when, example, if Unibake wants their own instance of this data, then you uh, and integrate to the European solution and the article number. Because an article number, in my sense, it could be one, two, three, it could be a big tractor, it could be horse feet, it could be a bun, it could be uh, real estate or whatever. So you take it down a notch and you use the QBank to QBank connector. Then you can feed uh, data, not just send data to in river you need data from in river pim system in the unibake because maybe it's raining and you want to do a like they have occasions uh, in, in unibake they call sweet treats then i can just filter out all the sweet treats in qbank and make a catalog or a social media of that one so you need to and also dimension of the package if you do a campaign and so on so that is why we choose them they have the architecture that you can see support a uh, multi-company like us and multi-brand. Uh, and they have the tool set that we need to, to, to have in place. Great, and onboarding these kind of solutions uh, in, in a company like Lantman and must be coming with a lot of uh, change management challenges. Yes. Uh, and yes. Yeah, that is... Um, now, now we, we did the lift and shift project. That is uh, great. We have everything in a new SaaS solution uh, and that is fine. But when it's coming that I'm talking about the tech island, we like MVPs, small variable products and reason that. But if you look from a business perspective, you want everything right away. You want to have a car running smoothly. You don't want a, a car without an engine and so on. And then, then we need to talk to each other really to, to, to coexist. What can I help we, with you? And, and, and we, I get money for the lift and shift project, but now how to take next step? And you need to take the next step uh, quite fast to keep the business uh, uh, to see that we are moving or else they're going to go somewhere else because I want to have the most efficient um dam system so help them don't not doing the opposite so business need to listen to tech and i need to listen a lot to business and and i have a lot of business island to visit so uh, the challenge is here uh, the time and the budget and the funding and so on so um i've talked to the board members and we got to get more funding and, and so it really can be a help for for not uh, um blocker for, for this one. So, yeah. Great. And uh, 
We're going to hear more about this during uh, uh, Volkan's keynote speech at uh, Dam Day on September 24th here in, in Stockholm. Uh, you're going to be talking a lot about the change management uh, project and, and onboarding all these uh, different brands. So I hope uh, lots of you who have joined today can, can meet us at uh, Dam Day. So uh, what I like with you, Håkan, personally, and, and with uh, your, your team is how you challenge us at QBank and you challenge our tool, you challenge our engineering team with new ideas, new uh, tools or new functionality that you would like to have developed. Um, and being a client-focused company, uh, we really appreciate that. And uh, we thought that we would just give some examples of how QBank has helped Lantmanen with, with developing new interesting functionality. And the first one is, as you mentioned earlier, uh, the, the consent and uh, rights management module in QBank uh, that was developed, but uh, the Lantmanen team thought it needed some, some more love and some more uh, functionality. Uh, so uh, can you tell us a little bit more about that, how you use our digital consent module in, in QBank? Yes. Um, I also yeah, going to refer to the Swedish smorgasbord uh, once again. Uh, when you come to, to consent and, and, and the marketing law, normally we talk about GDP or about the marketing law. And then it's different locales and, and different stuff. And you can you can see this uh, QR code. Some of you have maybe put, put up your phone. Uh, you, can you please do it? You can write your email and person and be a consent person at Lantmannen if you want to. Uh, if you do it right away, uh, then I'm going to contact you later on if you want to hear more so I can collect the data. But uh, the, the QR code that you can see here is yes, for if you are out on the field or, or an event, then you can create consent person. That is the first step in, in the marketing law, that you have the email address and, and that person per se. Um, so that's the first. And you can see this is, uh, you can see the QBank logo there. Uh, I haven't changed it yet. Uh, it's on the tech island. Uh, the functionality QBank has, so we can have the Lantman and logo and so on, so it feels coming from Lantman and so on. So we have done a lot of um, customizations and different stuff um, and uh, lo localization uh, for, for the different um, uh, GDPR functions. So we have um, four different uh, consent forms, uh, if you take one locals. I'm uh, going to take them really fast, internal, 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 external, external, internal, and external, external. And what does this mean? Uh, yeah, if you take a photo of me uh, internally and then you want to use it in Facebook, then you use the internal, external marketing law to say in this one. And, uh, and, um, and then I'm compliant in 10 years. I try to push everything <laughs> so we don't need to have new consent. It's two years, but 10 years is how far I could push uh, the marketing people uh, around this, you don't need that. So QBank had Yelp us here, and here's, is, if you refer to Gartner I talked about, this is environment driven, legal driven, how you do this. But the Swedish smorgasbord, that is the digital version of that. If, if I take a new image and have this consent person in there, but I said we have a lift and shift program. Did, did we have this capability in the old system? No. Uh, do we have a lot of emails and Word documents here at Lantmanen with already existing um, marketing law texts that have been uh, signed and so on? Yes. So we come up with a category called in QBank that you can upload this GDPR document and relate to the image with the people in it. Then you get this one. Uh, and then uh, the next step in a Swedish markets board, okay, you have a lot of paper uh, lying around with the consent in that. Then you have a little text field that you can write. Okay, this is in Hawkins upright drawer. You can fill all the GDPR document on this floor in this archive. So you always can write in QBank. So you have the total manually, then semi-manual, 
and the full digital um, plan. Then you have the Swedish smorgasbord of consent and rights. So uh, yeah, it's uh, starting to go technical, but then we need to visit all the business island and describe this and how you do this. And uh, that takes time, but tech island is done. Uh, great. And then uh, we had some some uh, challenges with your agency collaboration because, uh, again, being a, a diverse organization, you have different brands working with different agencies, or you have several brands working with the same agency, or you have, yeah, uh, and so on, or, or working with different agencies, uh, one brand working with several agencies. So it was very important uh, from the access right perspective. Am I correct? Yes. If you take we, that, I tell you, we have a lot of companies, 150 companies or more uh, in that. If you do the annual reporting and you want to have good images for a, a worst case scenario for all the companies, once single source of truth of data, in that sense. So how do we do a Swedish Mergus board for the agency collaboration? Then you need to have all the old images, old logos, uh, environment image for all the companies and so on. And you want to add like maybe 10 or 15 new ones. So you need to, to collaborate in, in that sense. So for an agency, you need to have old images, not old that are restricted old, but uh, that you can use in that and new image to, to collide and maybe have a secret campaign uh, that you want to work with so that you also take some existing image, a better word, uh, for that one and put in this container. So then, then they can work in their container. Th then you want this campaign. It's a little bit of secret and you want to work in that sense. And when uh, the campaign is over, then you can say, oh, here you go to the media portal and now you can start using it. So this is uh, in final testing right now. So we're trying to get the Swedish Swedish Smurgus board also here for the agency. All the existing images I can use and new images and secret campaigns uh, in one. So we let them in our core dam and restrict them with different uh, rights and so on. Interesting. Um... And then from, from the tech side, um, we, we developed a new tool uh, or module in QBank. So uh, as you mentioned, you have over 150 companies with all the different websites and e-commerce and so on. And um, of course, all of these websites have their own needs uh, around the different uh, image formats, sizes, and so on. And we realized that using the templates in QBank uh, would create uh, lots of uh, storage and uh, lots of complexity. Uh, so Hogan asked us to, um, and his team asked us to, to add this functionality to, to our CDN. So if you could please tell us a bit more about that. Yes. Um, as I said, we are many companies. And as long as you are done with something, someone else is changing the format. Maybe you have a website CMS platform 400 going 400. Next week, we want to have a 300, 300 or uh, 301 or something like that. So how do we do a Swedish smorgasbord on asset optimization? So then you just uh, put some love in the image. Uh, maybe you have a TIFF image for keeping path right. Write their solution, free in the DPIs and so on. Yes, put it in a dam system, and then you send the URLs up in the cloud. Now we are on the tech island here, uh, right up in, uh, and then you can give the all the channels the transformation tools. So in this example, uh, it's a WebP 400 uh, high uh, width. Uh, this all image gonna resolution in real time because next week maybe oh this was too big and you did have 300 300 then they just change the urls and uh, so they can do that you can do compression you can do avif you can do videos small video files and then you without radio buttons when you click on that you're gonna get bigger and then you can have video with radio buttons you can pause and stop and so on 
So then I get the flexibility uh, for all the channels out there uh, to do the, do whatever they want. They don't need to contact me. I just send them the manual. Here are all the what you can do with this one, and uh, it's going to be enough. So that is really nice uh, to come to this function. Then we have the Swedish Morgos board for all the channels. So they don't need to contact me and I need to have new templates and uh, store it for performance reasons. The CDN is gonna solve it for you. So that is really nice. I'm looking forward when we are live with this. Great. And then finally, some, some tips uh, from us uh, for when preparing for an uh, implementation. Uh, first of all, uh, make sure you define a clear objectives and uh, requirements. Uh, as Håkan mentioned, you have your business island, you have your tech island, make sure you have everybody's requirements uh, on the board and on the table. And also uh, make sure that you have identified your, your goals uh, early on in the project. Uh, and then Make sure to have a detailed implementation plan. Uh, so meaning that um, set clear milestones and make sure you get those quick wins as, as uh, Håkan mentioned uh, earlier. Uh, and then the data, data migration. It, this is very important because if you roll out uh, the new DAM tool and people cannot find their assets, they will start looking on those file shares with those 7 million assets or, or whatever that might be. So make sure you have the proper data migration before you allow your users into the tool. And then invest in training and change management. Again, this is a topic that Hokan will cover in, in, uh, uh, on damn day. Uh, so I don't wanna go into too much details here, but. Uh, training is very important. Make sure that people have the right training in, in the new tool. Uh, and then once you're live, keep uh, track on how things are going and start optimizing and monitoring your, your success or what else you can do. So when you, after you launch a new brand, uh, and it's, you're ready to, to launch a new one or implement a new one. Uh, what have you learned from, from earlier uh, implementations or earlier uh, rollouts to, to those different brands? Uh, so that's also important. And then, uh, Håkan, any other words? Final any? words. Swedish smorgasbord. <laughs> yeah, let them be the Swedish smorgasbord. Uh, and, uh... Uh, and take the time to get to know, get to know each other. That, that's my challenge because I have many, many uh, friends out there I need to help in this one. And, and everything is money, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, talk to the tech island and the business island. Talk to each other and find out and listen to each other and learn from each other. And, and as Gartner said, the business driven, have a budget for that, but also have a Please have a buddy for tech uh, so we can have this functionality and tell you and prepare everything uh, for the business and so on. So that is also challenging. And of course, we need to be legal compliant on the environment. But uh, keep in mind, tech island, business island, Swedish merge board, how we can solve that for the channels, for the agency, for the consent. To, to, to go for the process because then you have the business with you because, oh, then you just solve a little bit, but uh, think holistic about it and and um, just start the damn journey because mm -hmm. you need assets in a, in a good shape because there's going to be more channels, more asset, more campaigns, more uh, event-driven stuff uh, in the future. Uh, so... Uh, because if you don't start, you got to get more sub process and it's going to get more and more messy to get out. So yes, jump in the boat and get the damn system. I agree. Even people tend to become very creative when they don't have the right tools. So they find yes. their own solutions. So yes, uh, great. And, and before uh, going, jumping to the next slide, we have a question here. Welcome. Uh, in the chat it says yeah. 
how long did it take to break through and uh, really get some result back on on the shift from the old way of working to the new uh, both from a data perspective and and also cultural shift oh. so uh, how long did it take are you there yet <laughs> We're not there yet with all the companies. Uh, some of some of them are uh, fast adapters. Uh, one are slower, and we are in house, outside. So uh, we're struggling uh, with um, that. We are few people. Uh, I, I go to my standard question: ninety-nine question out of hundred is money. Uh, mm -hmm. So. Uh, that is unfortunately, but we're doing the best. Some of the um, companies are working really good in some areas and some on other ones, but we need to 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 collaborate more, uh, have a strategic goal, uh, and that and that takes time. It takes time to to do change management and sit uh, uh, along and do really change. It's just not uh, here's the solution, here's the license, here's uh, 100 different capabilities and 500 functions. Uh, please use them. Go to the web pipes and read about them. That is not how we work as humans. So we need to take time and step by step. And we have uh, looked really hard on the consent process and uh, everything in marketing law we have in English. Uh, then we need to go to Germany and, and so on. It, everything here is, takes time. So, uh, uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, we're coming there. And I hope a uh, little bit more funding if the board members uh, <laughs> next year so we can speed up this process and really get business value and talk to each other, company of company, because uh, yeah, and local IT and centralized IT, there's uh, many stakeholders. But if we, we talk about when you started the project and then when you were live with uh, the media portal and press portal. So, so being the lift and shift part here, what would you say? Was it four months, five months? Yeah, I think it was around that. And mm -hmm. it's really interesting if you look, uh, look on statistic. I think uh, that I mentioned we are uh, 12,000 employees and, and uh, 11,000 when we done this and now we What's gone? I think they were 1,800. But if it doesn't matter, we are over 10,000 people. Uh, and when I can see uh, in the AD, every time uh, someone logging in in the media port and looking, uh, the person is um, uh, is creating that. And so we are 1,400 people. So like, well, it could be 14%, 15%. Of all that landmen have been in the media port and searching for assets and so on. I think that is quite a high number and I'm really proud of that. And so we have done a, a yeah, different. Oh, here's the then I've been on one landman and IT talking to all the different IT departments in different forums and so on. So spreading the words. Uh, but then it's spreading the words is one thing and then get the happy island that is another thing but we are working on that and uh, and uh, i hope to give the business what they want in the future great thank you so much for for joining today okan it's been a pleasure having you thank you uh, and thank thank you everyone online for joining this, this webinar and we just want to uh, tell you a bit more about Dan Day. Uh, it's a half day event here in Stockholm on 24th of September. Uh, we're going to have uh, some other clients except for Håkan uh, talking about their journey with, with QBank. So please make sure to sign up. Uh, you find the link uh, qbankdam.com slash Dan Day at the bottom left. Thank you again, everyone, for joining today. And big thanks to you, Håkan. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye.